My name is Jay Valbora, and I'm the principal and founder of Studio B Architecture. And for us, materials is a key part of how we approach our practice. The Macy's project really is phenomenal in scale. It was a four-year, $400 million project. It's the renovation of the largest retail uh, space in North America. It's the first full renovation of the Macy's Herald Square flagship store in 111 years. Of course, it's been renovated thousands of times in bits and pieces, but this is the first full renovation from top to bottom. And so it was really incredible in scope and an honor to be the overall master plan architect and lead architect for all the main spaces in the store. It was important for us to do two things, to really respect the heritage of what was, was, uh, was there in the building, in this iconic building for Macy's. And by that I mean really understand historically what was there in the building, and then also to bring Macy's into the 21st century. So for example, the original building was uh, built in 1902 by Delomas and Cords, and it was really an incredible polychromatic uh, Beaux-Arts style building. Yet most of the interiors were not historic, with a couple of key exceptions, like the famous wooden escalators. And so our goal was to take those elements that were historic, such as the facades, and some of the other special components like the escalators and preserve those and restore and rehabilitate those but then to take those elements which were not historic which included say for example the ground floor interior and to make those contemporary and bring those into the future we see the brand of Macy's as existing at all different time periods it's not frozen in time it's not about one particular historic time period um, as a fashion brand and as a you know, a retail store that's always changing with the times. Macy's has always evolved. Just as the original building was from 1902, the 7th Avenue building is from 1937. They almost went through a series of time periods from classical to early New York modern art deco. And I think that the next layer was all about creating the 21st century layer of Macy's, which is about today. Big, open, clean spaces, bringing back light and air into the interior, natural daylight, restoring the connection between the building and New York City, because for years it had been cut off, the ceilings lowered, the windows sealed off, entrances closed, such as the Memorial Entrance closed for nearly half a century. And so reopening those connections to the surrounding city, to Herald Square, to 34th Street, and making it really a house of brands that opens up to the city, and then creating a new 21st century layer. So these were some of the major design concepts for Macy's. ASI has been a great vendor for us. Uh, we've loved working with Architectural Systems for years, and one of the things that I really respect about their products is that they really work with us to achieve our design goals. So it's important for us when we're creating an overall vision for a project that the materials and the finishes, the contrasts in color, uh, natural materials versus artificial materials, that's really an important thing, how they look in the lighting, how they respond to the customer's needs, even the technical requirements, which were considerable for Macy's. Um, we look to ASI for many products, but in particular, uh, in this project, we use them for uh, their beautiful wooden floors. For example, in the bridal department, there was a need to really create something that was fresh and new. This wasn't your mother's bridal department. We wanted to create something that would be exciting. And I really love the product that we picked there, a beautiful dark wood with a ceruse quality that brought up the wood grain and created a lightness and a contrast. It really looks like something that's fresh and contemporary, and yet it's still classic enough that it works for a bridal section and really speaks to that uh, larger design intent, which was to create something that would be elegant and fashionable and yet classic and stylish, and I think it's very successful. A few of the other things we used, for example, is recycled wood, and we did that on the mezzanine. One of the larger design moves was to create an entire mezzanine that wraps around the ground floor. It was actually our first move on the project, to restore a mezzanine that used to be there uh, in the early turn of the century. And so we used recycled wood products uh, from ASI in order to create that floor and to give it something of that authentic character as we were restoring a space that used to be there in 1902. It's important for us to really collaborate with our vendors. And we really work back and forth with ASI where we push them to achieve certain kinds of new products or finishes or an exact look we want. And we really respect that they work with us in order to achieve that.